Hi, uh, so if you watch my last video, you know that I've been trying to uh, add Miracast support to a Raspberry Pi. So uh, I've made a bit of progress. I did a very crude implementation, um, a video only implementation, but it does work. So again, the setup is similar to before. I have my phone here, I have my Pi in the corner, which is connected to this monitor right now. So the phone and the Pi are already paired up using Miracast. So um, it's just running in the background, so let me turn on the screen of my phone. And see, it does come up like that. So could you just look away while I unlock my uh, my phone, please? Thank you. Okay, so now the screen is unlocked. So, um, so you can see there's a bit of a delay in the system. Um, I haven't investigated it much, um, but I, I, I'm more inclined to believe this is just the, the Wi-Fi delay, because um, the app itself is currently only using roughly 20% of the CPU on the Pi right now, and that's not even optimized. So, you know, everything works as it should. Um, oh, let's wait for the application to load. Yep, so, something like that, and something like that. And go back to desktop, do that. And what else can I do? I can even play a video. So, this is a video I made uh, for another video. So, actually, it seems to work pretty well right now. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see this, there's a bit of, um, sometimes there are artifacts on the screen. And, um, yeah, so, so like, though, that was very obvious. So I think that's uh, just due to packet loss. So there are better techniques um, that you could do in the code to hide those artifacts away. But again, this is a very crude, in, crude implementation and none of that is done right now. But as you can see, at least, um, the latency seems acceptable. And if I just, you know, did the decoder chaining a bit better, then mask out all that artifacts and this will work quite nicely so the next thing i'm going to do is try to investigate the possibility of or i'm pretty sure the audio portion will work, will work. i just need to figure out how to implement it uh thank you for watching bye